Welcome back to the Life School Masterclass Show, a place where visionary leaders build a life and business legacy on purpose through mindset, branding, marketing, sales, systems, and team so they can make an amazing impact and income and positively affect their communities worldwide. Ensure that you are sharing the show, you're subscribing, and you also are leaving us a review so we can create more amazing content around those areas to help you level up to the next level and also bring amazing guest experts that can share their knowledge and expertise with you so that you can create amazing legacy. All right, Legacy Builders, welcome back to another show. Today, I have an amazing topic for all of you. We're going to talk about reaching peak performance. I know that all of us here are high performers. We're always learning and growing, and we're always in the process of evolution as entrepreneurs and CEOs. So I have an amazing expert today, Rory Montali, that does transformative work around this area. So Rory, thank you so much for finding time to be on our show. And thanks so much for all the amazing work that you're doing out there in the world with this and more. Thank you so much for having me. And welcome, everybody. Welcome for someone who's been in peak performance that's an experiential person. And I'm not here to lecture or give a, like a to-do list or a goal. I work with pay, mainly with entrepreneurs, CFOs, CEOs, people who are trying to go public, or just someone that's just starting a new business. But we work with your dreams. Like, what's your dream if you're going to have this conversation tonight? And what do you love? And it's a different way of doing business these days where I notice that this word G-O-L-E, right? What's your goal? What's your goal? It's like in the future. We want to be in the present as entrepreneurs. We want to say, in this moment, I want to get to that whiteboard and I want to be able to bring what i need to know so the work that i do is called the kingdom of the subconscious and it's the place where we go in the boardroom we breathe then the second process is to see what you're coming to the table with as entrepreneurs like what your goal what your dream is for this outcome and what you would love and then what we do is dialogue and image and i teach the entrepreneurs and experts how to get and tap into listening to their subconscious which is what we all have and it run, runs our whole lives and you know what we do they show me what they do before they tell me their dream and they bring in their whole team and they have the marketing team and then they have the event team and then they have the the chief executive officer and then they have the the works right and then they have the whiteboard right do we all see that and then they go, okay, well, we need to go from here to here. How do we get there? And it's always in the how do we do better? And what we want to do is how to remove the better and get into the work before we go into the boardroom, before you bring your staff, you are CEOs, you are founders, you have the vision, you were given the vision, or you were given the legacy to have your business, right? I don't know. And where we need to stay in the legacy is, Mm -hmm. oh. I love it. I could see how much passion you oh, are sorry. Sorry. that you're doing because it's so transformative because you deal with the subconscious. And I know myself how a lot of those things that might be blocking our performance might be things that are hidden and we don't even know about. So what are some of the problems that you're, you, the people that you that come to you for this kind of support experience so that we give the audience a little insight around if they also experience these issues you know it could be an indication that you know they they might have sub subconscious limiting blocks that might be getting in the way of their performance what have you seen what i've seen is the four areas of where people are having hidden resistance mm -hmm. what one of them is is limiting beliefs Limiting beliefs are like, this is how it needs to be. I can't see out of the box. I kind of, so they get stuck in the one way Harry kind of way of seeing the way their limiting beliefs come. The second thing is there's financial. There's people that don't even realize that they're working from a place of money only grows on trees or, you know, they're having limiting beliefs. So I noticed that entrepreneurs have limiting beliefs. 
So I put them through a dream process interview of a process to allow them to see it in real time what they are experiencing, right? And when they experience the real-time limiting belief, then they can work with that. The second thing I notice is relationships. I'm very good at intimacy and connection around business owners because intimacy is very important in the way of being connected to their workers, their staff, their accounting. They have to feel connected. And I, I notice that's one aspect. I put them through a process of intimacy and connection. One is about relationships and the financial. And I stay with that. Sometimes I have a little bit of a couple, I would say 10%, they want to go into the spiritual. They feel that they are about to go maybe bankrupt because they had public company that, and they're just like, I need spirit to help me through this because I don't want to do bankruptcy, but I'm going in that direction. And we find out what was the thing that they can live with in order to then move into the next process. So I have spiritual sometimes on the plate and I notice that when they do the spiritual work, they actually feel that they can calm their nervous system down. They can bring the anxiety level down. And sometimes that also causes pain in the body as a practitioner by heart. That's, you know, I'm a cranial sacral, you know, practitioner. And I sometimes have people that get sessions with me and work on the subconscious as a, one of the options I teach in my peak performance because they can't go to the boardroom. They can't connect to the subconscious. They can't even have a moment to breathe because they're running multi-million dollar companies. And they're like, I can't even have a moment to do yoga or meditate. I have kids, I have planes, I have boats. I, I, I don't even know what that would feel like. It'd feel uncomfortable. Are you looking to expose your brand, your purpose, and your profit alignment this year that I want to introduce you to our C-suite program here at the Life School speaking program where you will be connected every week with free, paid, TEDx, podcasts, speaking opportunities to other aligned audiences. You'll also be participating in our weekly and monthly events here at the Life School with the reach of an audience of over 30,000 entrepreneurs and high-level CEOs. Also, you will be warmly introduced to high-level connections every month where you can add amazing people to your network and be able to land new clients, but also be able to collaborate. Lastly, you'll also be featured in our global magazine and be an ongoing contributor to our magazine so that you can reach new people and also expand your brand and purpose and profit alignment. New benefits are always being added to our community C-suite membership program. For more information and for ways to register, you can participate with a 30 days free trial so you could see the community for yourself, and then make a decision if you'd like to join as a member. I want to invite you to go to lonalaparicoaching.com slash C-suite program for more information. Rory, I love that. You talked about limiting beliefs. You talked about the financial space, and you also talked about relationships, which are such important pillars in our life, even though obviously we're all company owners, founders, CEOs, and entrepreneurs. I love that. And thank you so much for articulating the problems because I think, you know, understanding the problem, becoming problem aware, then, you know, that's the first step so that we can become solution aware. So what is your solution with peak performance? What are some um, habits or advice that you can give us so that once we maybe understand that uh, those things could be holding us back, what is it that we can do to increase our peak performance as visionary leaders? 10 years, ice baths, ice baths, plunging, infrared saunas, which I'll give a code to anyone that would want one of those today. Um, I'm going to offer that because I am a practitioner at heart, and I've been a practitioner and a doctor for a, very, for a long time. And I moved out of doing consulting because I want people to reach their dreams, but they're not well. And when you're not well and your nervous system is out of whack, you can't make really good decisions to make things at times at the maximum to get that revenue. So I recommend 
a wellness home. I consult with people, not just business. How do we get to that level of going public? We get them in the wellness well. And what we do is we get them to go like an ice bath or I give them like a little portable sauna and then I bring them a red light therapy. And I can go into all these technologies, but my CFO, CEOs, public, they understand that when they're working in the office and making big decisions to get to the subconscious, I don't want them to depend on Rory Montali. I want you to work with me and then I want you to know how to take care of yourself to shift the physiology. Now, the, the physiology is shift your mindset. You must raise a sweat which is hypocrisies. Everyone knows who hypocrisy is. said if sweat is the kill of all disease. You sweat and you get in your inference on and then you get out and you go to the boardroom, you are now tapping into a different place that no one can ever tap into to make decisions. So what I say is I will help you get well. And I don't mean that you're sick. I mean, you need to know longevity, anti-aging, modalities. You're 60, you're 50, you're 40, you want to live past 80, healthy, vibrant, good mindset, keep your company till 80, 90, running the show. That is where I bring something different than most consultants is because I have a practitioner background and I love to see someone that is stressed because the vagus nerve went or sciatica because they're stressed. They're on a plane to Australia, right? And then they have to go and wake up 15 hour different time zone. So I help people really get the muscle to wellness. And then we work on the subconscious. But if they're already well and they're like totally athletes, hiking, biking, I'm an Ironman triathlete. Most of my peak performance I coach and consult are peak performances. They're doing the big things like Ironman and hiking and you know whatnot. So if they're healthy already, I just add in a little bit more of the biohacking, which is red light therapy, anti-aging, anti-rejuvenation of the cell of the mitochondria to give it a better energy. So that ATP, which is protein, helps them actually have more energy, which is what I'm known to do, is help you with energy, not strategic planning. We're done with that. We need to know your dream. We need to know what you love. We need to know how we're going to get you to stay in that bubble of love and health. And then I'm going to bio, then I'm going to sit with your next level in my coaching to get you to understand how to listen, say, listen, everybody to the subconscious, to what maximize success. And then mm. your dreams are happening. Powerful. Sorry, I'm just getting... <laughs> yeah. The modalities that you bring to the table, I'm very familiar with a few of them, but I, you know, you, you just mentioned a few other ones, but I think at the end of the day, what stood out to me is the independence, meaning that these things you can sustain and the energy levels are very, very important. And I love that you mentioned the strategic part, because again, we can have strategy all day, but if we don't have this part, then how are we going to execute on that? Right? Because most of us are the main decision makers and then everything trickles down to the rest of the team. So, you know, we are the biggest, the most important asset. So I love that you mentioned that. Uh, Rory, we've actually reached the end of our show today. And I want to ask you. you as a final question, uh, what is your vision for impact? And also, where is it that people can further connect with you today? Sure. First thing I do is because I have, um, I love to give gifts. So I'm going to give a code to, if you put that up for everyone today, uh, this is not my website, but it's a, uh, it's called relax, R-E-L-A-X, saunas, S-A-U-N-A-S.com. And you put in a code, I will give you uh, Rory 100, $100 off the sauna today. Uh, so it's R-O-R-I 100. So please feel free to look and see if that's for you as a portable infrared sauna. Please reach out for a discovery call with RoryMontali.com. And I will be glad to give 15 minutes as well and see if I'm a good fit if, for either one. It's R-O-R-I-M-O-N-T-A-L-I.com. It would be an honor and a privilege to just connect and see if we are a good fit. And if I'm not, I give you a ton of resources and at least you get some wellness tips. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I don't think you mentioned the vision for impact. What, what do oh, you really please. feel is your vision uh, in the way that you want to do good in the world through the work that you're doing? 
I want people to live in the the highest peak performance of dreams of their own, where they're seeing them happen, and they're in a wow moment. And I want them to feel the presence, something bigger than what they ever imagined. I want them to feel the presence of spirit, if that's possible. And then I want people to feel that their dreams occurred. That's it. I want everyone to live their fullest mm -hmm. potential because this one life. Yeah. Oh, I felt that. Thank you so much. Beautiful vision and mission. Thank you, Rory, for being a beautiful guest here today. And we'll uh, we'll tag Rory everywhere so that you're able to connect with her further. And one of the major values here um, on our show is the connection piece. So absolutely connect together, yes. whoever's watching, wherever you are watching, and explore further opportunities for collaboration or finding ways to be a resource to one another. Thank you, Rory. And thank you to all of you for always watching and supporting the show by sharing it and subscribing and I'll see you next time with another Thank beautiful you so and topic and conversation. Bye, everybody.